Hello, it's Sarah. I have a few more of these ornaments to share. I just enjoyed them so much, and this time I just went with stamps that I had, Christmas stamps. Uh, for the most part, they're Lawn Fawn. Um, this is, it's downstairs. I'm filming today in my um, at my computer desk. What the heck, you guys probably know, but my snowmen. Um, and actually, I think this is a Hero Art stamp for the trees. Um, but I, again, I just covered the uh, paper mache shapes with, I actually first painted the edges white, um, actually light ivory, and then um, the Martha Stewart pearl, but you really can't tell. Um, and then uh, covered it with paper. And I just fussy cut out all these different shapes and placed them on there. And then just added stickles or um, glossy accents here and there to um, highlight different things. So I just love these snowmen. I think it turned out super cute. Um, still, now this time, um, the other ones I just did pearl trim around the edges, but I found this colored pearl trim at Joann's just like yesterday or day before. And so I made these um, using colored. I got blue, red, gold, and I think they had green, but I didn't get the green. I don't know why. Um, but I just love, I just love how this one turned out. Um, so I did the snowman. And then this is a Lawn Fawn stamp. And it's, you know, I don't know the name of it. It's downstairs. But uh, <laughs> um, I just popped some of the stuff up. And um, I just love it. I actually did two of these. See, this was the first one I did. And then this was the second one. And I actually like the one, the second one better. It's simpler. I put black behind the fireplace. So if you compare the two, um, this one has like a dark blue behind the fireplace. And I actually raised the fireplace up a little bit here, you can tell, and kind of put the black. So it kind of gives it dimension, like it's set back a little bit. So I, um, and then I, I mean, it's basically the same. I put a star up here because I had a lot more room on this one up top. But uh, on this one, I didn't. I just left it, and I really love how it turned out. Just simple. So, and I used the red trim and then the gold pearls on this one. hope my light's okay. And then this is another Lawn Fawn. This is Gnome Sweet Gnome. I know that one. And this was my, like, one of my last hearts I had left. And I just used, like, a blue snowflake paper and put a little mushroom house there and a gnome. And, a, and I put, these are the lights from the, um, I think it's from this stamp set. Uh, the light, the, these lights come with the stamp set. So I just put some lights on the tray and that called that one done. So not a lot to it. Just put a star, some stickles on the star and glossy accents on the lights and the windows. And then this one is Lawn Fawn 2, and it's, uh, you know, the gingerbread house and all the stuff that goes with it. I, I really wish I had the names. I just wanted to make this video real quick because these got to go back up on the tray. And I'm going to make another one of these, and I think I'm going to push it up a little bit. And just proportionate-wise, I had these little um, jujubes or whatever they're called, the jujube candy as like a path and it's kind of covered up but I think if I raise it up and I'll put a smaller star on top of the house and just space it differently I think it'll come out more proportionate because my eye sees it's just it needs a little um, more space there for the path but they turned out super cute I'm just enjoying this and I actually think I like the stamping a little bit better like using your stamps um, utilizing them that way and I thought about covering a box like a gift box with it I'm, I'm gonna I don't know I might do that too but I am gonna be doing clay I wanted to just show you I did download some more Christy Friesen stuff I had a couple requests um, for some um, polymer clay uh, tutorials uh, Gabriel Polico has a great um, tutorial if you guys want to see it and um, I I could put her name in the um, information box, but this is again Christy Friesen, and I uploaded or downloaded these from her website. This is the Steampunk Whale Pendant, and I will be making that. I also got this fishy. This is um, a Steampunk fish. I kind of like the Steampunk ones. And the other ones are just my bugs. I ordered her book, but I put all the patterns that I had in the um, in these little things. I'm gonna get like a um, 
a notebook to put them in. But I did. I just ordered her other book, uh, one of her other books. She has several. Um, it's, uh, it's the Under the Sea, it's called Under the Sea, because I wanted to make a sea turtle, and I've seen a steampunk sea turtle and a steampunk seahorse. So I'm um, going to be playing with my clay. What, after the holidays, I think, I'll start the new year out using my clay. So, um, all right, guys, everyone have a happy holiday, and thanks so much for watching my videos, and happy new year. All right, bye-bye.